Thank you for watching this clip of Not My Bag. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're listening, give a five-star review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Guys, we're onto a segment called Spice Up Your Life. Basically, what we want to do is get Mel to answer some of the public's queries of how they're going to spice up their lives. If they're stuck in a bit of a rut, you know, things aren't going the right way. It, it's not just all like sexual. It could be in, in any, any form of life. Yeah. But obviously, when people say spice up your life, you do think. It's not, it's not all sexual. So we've got a first okay, that's one. Just, that's just me. That's just me. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to start off like kind of, you know, ease into it. Okay. Got my ex cheated on me and wants me back. Ah, fuck him. He's wasted his chance. Okay, fine. He's I too good. No second chances, no? Nah. Nah. Do you shave your chest? <laughs> 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 no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Fancy my work colleague. What do I do? Ooh. Mm. Ooh, what do you do? Well, I think you've got to see if you can get in there, don't you? But, um, but then, subtly, because it's embarrassing if you get a knockback and you've got to work goes, with him. If it goes tits up and you've would got to see him every day. Would you office? mix work with pleasure in that way? Because it's quite a dangerous road, isn't it? Um, it really, truly is. Yeah, my last boyfriend is my manager. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, really, you really did mix work and relationships. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, um, I would say, can't, is there someone else at work that you trust, you could confide in that could maybe, you know, be go, the matchmaker? Oh, what do you think? Or, yeah. Blah, blah. Just like, fine. Yeah. That's good that's advice. That is that's good yeah. advice. That is solid advice. I've got, love my boyfriend, but the sex is awful. Please help. Oh, shit. Do you know what? There's been a few of these, and people are saying, how do we approach it? What do we do? You, I, I, the silence is deafening. What do you do? <laughs> Well, <laughs> my daughter's sitting over there, so I'm like, okay. Um, <laughs> not, not you telling us before this, you can say what you are, and all of a sudden, when we we've start, got Mel's like, nothing's, nothing's off bounds, it's fine. <laughs> well, I, I don't know, I suppose if they're worth hanging on to, you know, if you love them, then work on it together. Because I think the best, you know, the best sex is going to be had by people who can be really honest with each other, mm. right? Yeah. So basically, they've just got to sit them down and just bite the bullet. <laughs> Maybe, maybe introduce that something. You know like me. I'm you very went. honest. I've just got to say, like, sit there I'm and be like, like, I love you, but the sex is so bad. <laughs> That's what you would do. No, you could approach it like, you know, like come up with an idea that could maybe spice it up a bit. Yeah. I don't want to say things in front of my dog. <laughs> okay. I think what... what I, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's true. You see anything anyway? I think Mel's saying sex toys, everyone. But um, yeah, I think just to <laughs> explore. Oh, why, why don't we try this? And, and yeah, you've got, so you like have to be vocal, don't you? Yeah, so a bit of a like a hint or something like that. Yeah, yeah. And, and do it like oh, I, this is quite good. I think if you don't like put it all on them, like you're shit in bed. Yeah, it's more like why don't we? Why don't you tell yeah. me? Why don't we experiment yeah. and Fine. you know have, try this or try that and did okay. it and oh yeah that works so that doesn't oh. Okay. And then if the no luck, get rid. No luck, get rid. <laughs> Spicing it up with the Spice Girls. Um, how do I let my boyfriend know I'm gay? And this was from a uh, girl. Well, I think if you want to have a relationship with this person, you've got to be honest. Mm. You have to be honest. And if they're, you know, good enough to be with you, then they will embrace that. Yeah. Okay. And I've got fell in love with my girlfriend's mum. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's just a no. That's, that's just a no, crazy. no. Isn't that it's, mental? Yeah, that's that's just... Because he's you, like, whoever that is, is going around said person's yeah, house and they're like, the oh mom. yeah, hi. And then they're looking at their mum like... Oh, nah, nah, I think you've got to have a word with yourself. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, oh, that's breaking some kind of code. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what code it is, but... Do you know what? I think I would rather them fall in love with my mum rather than my nan, though. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Who do you know who's fallen in love with their nan? No, not their nan. Like, if my partner fell in love, it was between my mum and my nan. I'd rather my mum. <laughs> <laughs> There's some mad logic there, yeah, isn't there? That, that, that yeah, ain't right. That ain't right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> yeah, moving simply on. <laughs> um, stay with current boyfriend or get with the builder. Oh, wow. Well, it depends. I mean, if you're having thoughts. <laughs> How much work's getting done? <laughs> yeah. Do you, need to, an do you need a new you kitchen? Yeah, get it sorted. Now, I think if you're having thoughts of being with somebody else, whoever that might be, then there's a problem in the relationship to start with, right? But do you mm. not just think that's like to address the you, you, root? You know when you know when like builders turn up. I have it with girls my age, and they're like, "Oh my god, there's this really fit scaffolder and stuff." Like, surely people don't want to actually want to dump their boyfriend. I don't know. Maybe they do. Um, yeah, maybe it's you know, eye candy's fine, window shopping's yeah, fine, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. But if you like yeah, really no, thinking about like, it. 
Mm. Yeah. If you want to actually do the deed, then it's a bit dangerous. Yeah. 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 Okay, fine. Um, I've actually got one that's not so sexual. This actually might be good for a lot of people because I, I've been here as well. Stuck in a job I hate, in the process of getting a mortgage and frightened to jump ship, what do I do? Oh gosh, I mean, mortgages, <laughs> get a bit political, are really tricky at the moment. Yeah. You know, we're in a, it's in a difficult, difficult time. I mean, you know, you have to follow your heart. If you're not happy doing something, life is too short to continue to do it. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, you've got to be careful. I, I, do you know what? Do you know what I'd say, actually? God, I'm giving this advice, not really serious. Um, I would say, if you're going to go for the mortgage and the house, no, no, I would say, change your job mm. or leave your job, but maybe leave the house for now. Fine. Leave yeah, the mortgage, yeah. maybe move, if you can, move in with friends or parents, yeah. keep saving the pennies. Um, because I think to do both things at once Big is life a changes, bit, isn't it? A bit yeah, too, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit a too lot daunting. Ones. Okay, yeah. I thought Especially I, with the um, interest rates. I, awful, isn't it? Awful. I'm going to be, I'm going to be renting forever. <laughs> I, I don't know what this person does. Um, <laughs> it, just, it just says, sucked off a client, help. <laughs> um... Um, well, I, well, it depends. If you want to continue the liaison, go for it. That's but if you want to work with them again, I yeah, feel uncomfortable. You, they can't really be. It depends what they do. I think it's all down to the yeah. job. I mean, if you're a hooker, fine. A hundred percent. Carry on. Actually, kind of five what you're stars. Doing, you're doing a very good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love with my boy bestie. Do I tell him or not? Have you ever been there where you got a friendship that's a bit? Do you know what I mean? Well, actually, Never Be The Same Again, which was my first UK number one single. Sorry, just flexing. I'm standing the plug. Um, that plug, that plug shameless plug. Yeah. I love it. That, Check it out. completely inspired by, a, you know, is it called a platonic friend? Is that what you say? Yeah, or like, a, yeah. is it like a situationship or like something like that? I don't know what the term is for that, but yeah. Yeah. Like a, yeah. I think it's it's such a dangerous line to cross, isn't it? Mm. But, it, you know, if, you, if you're getting the vibes, mm. then... See if it's reciprocated. Yeah. Might be a bit orcs afterwards, but it might still last. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I, I think, yeah. You, I mean, again, life's too short, isn't it? You kind of got to go for these things. Everyone on a hinge is ugly. And actually, um, this this is actually a really close friend of mine. I love her to bits. Her name's Liv. Shout out to Liv. Everyone on a hinge is ugly and I can't find a fella even though I'm so fit. Help me. What is this about, right? <laughs> I like, I, you know, I'm single and I'm, Having a little look around, yeah. slip pickings, in it. George, there seems to the be floor. loads of hot girls, not and, but all the hot guys are gay. Do you know what my mum did say this mum, because yeah, um, mum says all the time. yeah, yeah, mum was saying this last week. So I had a lot of uh, at our launch party. We had a lot of my gay friends, and mum was like, "Everyone here, they're so fit, but they're all gay." And I was like, "Well, first, you've been married for twenty five years. So <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what you're looking for, but stop." Um, but George actually recently got banned off Hinge. Yeah. Um, Why? Well, no, I, I don't know. But basically, Why? I, I did get loads of messages like, oh, this is a fake account. I'm like, no, it, it's me. But then Joe said, like, when people see fake account, accounts like that, or they think it's fake account, they just like, well, I think this them. is why they think why it's not Why are you on Raya? I'm, I'm, I've, so I've signed up to Raya and I'm on a waiting list, but I've been, I've been waiting for months. I love that and everyone really? that comes yeah. on here always says about Raya. That's so funny. I've been waiting it's for like months. the caliber of guests. Everyone's like, just go for Raya. <laughs> I've, I've no, the in. thing is, it, you're going to see loads of other people in the public eye yeah. on, on that particular platform. It's a good bit mm. of advice. What, watch out next week. This episode is sponsored by Raya. <laughs> 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 oh, I can't. I've got um, one more. I think we'll end on this one, but I love this. Um, how to deal with a horrible mother-in-law. What would Ooh. you guys do? Because a lot of people go through this. Yes, they do. <laughs> I have, I have <laughs> personal experience. That was a bit close to home this time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. um yeah it's really really difficult you have to do a lot of biting your tongue mm. because you know obviously if you're with your partner and you love them and you want to continue to be with them you know their mum's going to be around yeah so um yeah you just yeah you just have to it's a hard one isn't it because it is. also a lot of the advice that i get like even from mum and dad it's like you've got to love their family do you know what i mean because that's so important that you have that dynamic but some people aren't fortunate enough to have that and some people have very difficult parents don't they and, and yeah, things like that totally so it is a hard one and but... i think the other thing is and, and this is kind of like a generational thing as well i think a lot of women i, I don't know who these people are but a lot of mums and their sons, no one's good enough for their sons. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. coming into that dynamic can be really difficult. Mum's like that, isn't she? Mm. With us all. Or, or like loads of mums are just like, you're like, oh, I'm sweetest person. Or they're like, oh, 
Because it's always like mums are right, which which our mum is, and like you probably are. And it, you, you hear you, that, Scarlett? No, mums are right. We hate to admit it. We hate to admit, it, but mum is always uh, right. Yeah, I really don't want to say this to you because I would have hated to hear it at thirteen. But at, at growing up over the age of like 18, 19, 20, I then sat down with my mum and I was like, "You were right." But you have to do but things. That, that's you true. have to learn you things yourself. Absolutely. And you have to go through all that shit that your mum's like, no, don't do it, to learn, which is part of life. Yeah. But we do, you know, I, I'm six years older than George, but I've learned it recently. I go to mum for everything now. I'm like, she won't get rid of me. Oh, I'm like, you know, because, so nice. yeah, like she was, she was, and she, I think your mum always knows you best. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like they always know you in and Better out. Better than so, anyone, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so. Fuck the mother-in-laws. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, We're not literally like one of the last people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not the client. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe don't do that. 